Hey, what's up folks? How's it going? This is Watch. Hope you guys are all doing well. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new AMD Ryzen 5 1600X, which is a 6-core, 12-threaded CPU. We're going to specifically do a head-to-head -head comparison between two Intel chips. One is the 6800K, which is also a 6-core, 12-thread uh, CPU, as well as the most popular kind of gaming uh, processor, the 7700K. Now, first things first, looking at the specification breakdown, you can see that all three chips chips are based off a 14 nanometer architecture. The TDP varies from chip to chip and as we mentioned before both the 6800K and the 1600X have uh, 6 cores uh, 12 threads versus the 7700K has uh, 4 cores and 8 threads. Uh, in terms of clock speed the 7700K is going to be capable of the fastest single core performance uh, so it can go up to uh, 4.5 gigahertz on its stock turbo frequencies. Uh, we're actually Actually going to be doing a little bit overclocking on all three of these chips to kind of maximize the overall performance. Uh, in terms of cache, you're looking at 16 megabytes of level three cache on the AMD chip, 15 megabytes on the 6800K, and about eight megabytes on the 7700K. Uh, and we have also the maximum PCI Express lanes supported in each platform, as well as the MSRP. So you have an idea in terms of the price range of all three of these chips. Now moving forward, let's actually get it straight into business and take a look at the Cinebench R15 benchmark in terms of the multi-core performance. Now the 1600X clocked at 4 gigahertz uh, gets a, an amazing score of 1344 and again based on the price tag of uh, $250 this is absolutely insane. It gets pretty much the same score as when we overclock the 6800K to 4.5 gigahertz you get about 1352 uh, based on my performance test and uh, the uh, 7700K gets a solid 1104 points when you do overclock it to its 5 gigahertz rating. Now, furthermore, we also did a W Prime 1024M test on all three of these chips, and here you can see the results over here. Obviously, uh, the faster uh, the completion time, uh, the better it is. So it took about 130 seconds to complete on the 1600X. The 6800K was the fastest at 125 seconds, and the 7700K scored uh, last last place at 158 seconds. Beyond that, to kind of separate the multi-core and single core performance a little bit more, we used a Geekbench 4, and uh, here are the results over here. Around 20,000 points was the score for our overclock 1600X at 4 gigahertz. Uh, got about 4,500 points on the single core performance, which is uh, not too bad. Uh, the uh, 6800K gets a better multi-core performance, but a, a slightly lower single core performance, and uh, the uh, 7700K gets a very respectable multi-core performance and a very very fast uh, single core performance which is to be expected because uh, we did overclock it to 5 gigahertz. Now lastly we're going to take a look at the gaming performance of all three of these chips in combination with a discrete GTX 1080 uh, GPU and uh, what you're going to take a look at is a uh, time spy synthetic benchmark and then we're going to run through uh, the uh, average frames per second of a couple of different uh, gaming titles so that way you know the difference between all three of these chips uh, in combination with a discrete graphics card. So let's get right into it. But really on that guys, uh, that's really it. Uh, this was just a quick illustration of what uh, the Ryzen 5 1600X can do in comparison to the Intel counterparts. It's uh, cheaper than uh, both Intel chips, so keep that in mind. And it's uh, certainly great value uh, according to our performance benchmark results. And generally speaking, AMD is definitely on the ball when it comes from a value perspective. We also have another comparison video talking about the Ryzen 5 1500X CPU. So definitely check out that video if you haven't already there'll be a card on top of the screen for you to go right to it or you can check out the link in the description down below for everything we talked about including the link to that video but thanks for watching thanks for your support and we'll see you pretty soon later